So we are extending our topic of structure and today we are discussing the nested structure. Well, we know that the meaning of nested because many of the time we have discussed about the nested if and all. We know that when if is inside the if that is called the nested if. Similarly, when the structure is inside the structure that is called the nested structure. But there are two categories of nested structure. First of all, we are having is the embedded structure. So we are discussing these two category. One is embedded structure and second one is separate structure. So we are going on the first category that is called the embedded structure. So talking about the embedded structure, when we are declaring a structure inside the structure that is called the embedded structure, let us suppose I take one example. If I say that we are having a structure, we know that the name struct is the keyword. Struct, let us suppose that employee. That is one structure. And we know that how to make the object of the structure. Let us suppose this is a structure and the object is EMP. Inside that we are having one more structure. Let us suppose struct, supposingly date. Any name we can provide and this is one more structure. And let us suppose the object of the date is DOJ, date of joining. So you can see that there is one inner structure and there is one outer structure. So that is the embedded structure. So if I talk about this one, this is the inner structure, inner boundary. And this one is the outer structure. So whenever having the configuration like this, one is the inner structure, one is the outer structure. Then it is called the embedded structure. Now, it is a very interesting topic because if I have to access the member of date, then how I will access it? That will be very interesting. But before that, we must know what is actually the embedded structure. We should uh, write few lines about that. So we can say that embedded structure declares structure inside the structure. So we declare structure. inside structure and that is very much clear because we can see that inner is declared inside the outer structure so one structure inside the another now i'm taking one example to make you understand about this structure and we will use the different different data types so let's see the example I'm taking the same example to make you understand more. We are having a structure, let us suppose, struct employee. And this is the bracket starting of the employee. Inside the employee, we are having one variable, let us suppose that int id. So there is one integer type of data type, which is having the ID variable. Then we are having char name. And name contain many character. So name 20 I am assuming. Now, it is having one inner structure. Let us suppose that the structure name is struct. I'm using different color so that you can easily identify this one is the another structure inside that struct date. 
Now bracket start. Assuming that we are having int dd int mm int yy. You know that dd mm yy represent the date, month, and the year. Now the object of date we are creating object or the variable that is d o j means date of joining. So this one is the variable of date. Similarly, we are having the variable of the employee that is EMP. Now the interesting thing is how can we access the members members means we have to access id name ddmm yy with the help of the program let us suppose that i want to take the inputs from that if i take the input we can also take the output obviously by printing so i will take one part of the input let us assume so we are writing scanf first of all i have to access the id so scanf percentage d then and sign for the address we know that id is inside the m so to reach the id we have to use this m and we will reach to the id maybe for input or the output we has to use m dot id so we will write here amp dot id that we have discussed earlier this is a simple example because we have not reached yet to the nested structure now our next task is to take out the name and we know that we can use the gets function if we want or we can use scanf percentage s for the string and string don't have the address so we will take the name again name is accessed from the employee emp variable so emp dot name so here we will write emp dot name we are not writing the address because in the string it is not required now is very interesting thing we has to access ddmmyy which is the part of another structure structure inside the structure so how to access that we are writing scanf dd is the integer so percentage d comma integer also need address what to write here that is very interesting we can see that outer area can be accessed with the help of m variable inner area will be help taken with the help of doj so m dot doj dot dd will be used this time so we will write outer structure variable m dot inner structure variable doj dot the variable name dd now i have to access mm so scanf percentage d comma address of now we have to access the mm it will again go from outer structure m dot inner structure doj dot mm so it will write m dot doj dot mm similarly if i have to take the input from the last one scanf percentage d for the integer value address of now to reach yy the same procedure will be followed that is amp for the outer structure doj for the inner structure then the variable that is yy so we will write m dot 
doj dot yy so this is how we can take the input for all these members now if i have take the input obviously you guys can put the output by yourself if for the employee id i have to put the output then we will simply write printf percentage d comma amp id and for this one we will say printf percentage s amp dot name then printf percentage d amp dot doj comma dd and for this one we will write printf percentage d amp dot doj dot mm and for the last one we will write printf percentage d amp dot doj dot yy so this way we can access the members of the embedded structure mean structure inside the structure very easily and we can create the easy program so now we are discussing the next type of structure and that is separate structure so the next structure we are dealing with is the separate structures we know that the separate structure is the part of nested structure means anyhow some part of structure will be inside the another structure to make the nested but this one is very interesting the structures are separately declared but one is the main and one is the dependent so i am giving you an example to make you understand let us assume that i am taking the previous example which we have opted in which we was having one structure named struct date in the earlier example this was the inner structure but that is the independent now and assuming that there is one more structure struct employee in the earlier example this was the outer structure but they are now independently declared you can see that they are independent but you see the employee object is declared here but the above object is not yet declared so above object or the variable we are declaring inside the another structure here we are saying struct date doj date of joining so the above structure object we are creating in the other structure so these are the independent structure let us suppose that this is one structure independent and this is the another structure again it is the independent but the interesting thing is that in date structure we cannot reach because to reach the date structure we have to go via doj means from here we can access this structure and this employee is going to accessing this itself right so that is an interesting thing means date cannot be accessed from outside so for date we have to first access the employee so that is how we are getting the nested structure structure the independent in looking but they are dependent so the above part is the dependent dependent because it is depending upon the main structure we cannot access the date members by ourselves directly and this one is a main main means with the help of that we can access the dependent as well as itself so this is called the separate structure or we can write here two structures in which one structure 
is dependent just like the date is independent date is dependent and other structure is main here employee is the main so that kind of structure is called the separate structure so i'm taking one real example to make you understand i will take the same example so first of all we are having let us suppose struct date inside the date let us suppose we are having int dd int mm int yy so date month and year we are closing this structure no variable or the object of structure is made now we are starting the another structure i am taking another color to make you understand more let's suppose struct the name is employee now here let us suppose that we have declared int id this example is same as the previous example which we have discussed in the embedded structure and we are having char name let us suppose 20 character name now the interesting thing is that we have declared the object of above structure so we will write here struct above structure name which is date and the object name is doj date of joining now we are closing the main structure and the main structure object is made that is emp so this is how the above structure is dependent upon the main structure so date structure is dependent employee structure is main because with the help of employee we can go to the date now we are taking few examples to take the input let us suppose that we have to access all the members so how will do that if we have to go to the id it is very simple first of all we will write scanner id is integer so percentage d and now you see from variable employee we can reach to the id so we will simply write amp dot id now we have to take the name as the input we will write scanner name is of string type so percentage s we are taking name now name can be accessed from the amp so amp dot name we will write here amp dot name and in the string the address is not required now the interesting thing we have to access dd mm yy now we will write scan f percentage d for the integer address we have to reach the dd which is date part and date can be accessed with the help of their variable which is doj so to how to access that we have to first go amp then inside the amp we are getting the doj and from doj we are going to the dd so we will write here amp dot doj dot dd similarly if we have to take the input for mm scan f percentage d comma address of we will go to the amp from the amp 
DOJ and from DOJ we are going to the MM so AMP dot DOJ dot MM now to access the last member which is the part of date that is YY we will write scanf percentage D comma address of again we will use the M dot DOJ and from DOJ we will access YY so we will write M dot DOJ dot YY so this is how we can take the input for these structure actually embedded and separate structure both in input and output look same but yeah in the declaration part they are very much different if we have to take the output then we will simply write for the first one as printf percentage d amp dot id for the second one printf percentage s amp dot name for the next one printf percentage d amp dot doj dot dd for the next one printf percentage d amp dot doj dot mm and for the last one printf percentage d amp dot doj dot yy so this is how we can declare the separate structure so here we have discussed the two type of structure one is embedded structure and one is the separate structure